What's good YouTube, it's your boy Sky Jordan In today's video, we're going to be talking about Auto-tune lies people believe And these lead to some of the biggest mistakes that people make When recording vocals with auto-tune The first lie that people believe is Key and scale do not matter I'm going to just say it like this If the key and the scale didn't matter Why would they have the function on the plugin? Because every beat that you rap to, sing to Or producers make It is in a certain key and it's in a certain scale. So if the beat is in a certain key and in a certain scale, that means the auto tune has to reflect the key and the scale because your voice is an instrument and it is part of the song. So the whole song has to be in the same exact key and scale. All right. All right. <laughs> and what you need to understand is every beat is not in the same key and scale. Like you have beats that are in minor scales and major scales. Right, relative majors, relative minors, all this other shit, have you want to put it. But listen, the key and scale are important. A lot of people think it that it doesn't matter, but it does. And the second lie that a lot of people believe, because I get comments with this shit all the time for some reason, when I actually do this shit all the time on the channel, is that you cannot record with um, auto tune in real time. And that is the dumbest thing I ever heard because. It's a reason why it's auto tune real time right here. Like you see this on the screen, it says auto tune real time. They have ways to real time. Um, all like EFX access, all the shit you can record with it in real time. Pro artists record with it in real time. That means it doesn't have no latency issues whatsoever. And the reason for this being is because, <laughs> again, if you're gonna record with it. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to use it, it's better to record with it. Because why would you buy auto-tune if you're not going to record with it to keep it in key for the performance? If you wanted to record then add it afterwards, you were going to have to use Melodyne. You're going to have to use auto-tune pro graph mode to move the notes around. You're going to need ways tune to move the notes around. Um, that's doing too much when you can just record with it, set it in the right key and the right scale and be good, you know? Like it's called auto tune for a reason, bruh. Auto tune for a reason. And look, bruh, like you see it on the hoodie, bruh. Like I know what I be talking about. I be talking to the people over there that make the damn plugins, bruh. Like, come on. <laughs> like, come on, bruh. Like, people gotta stop believing these lies about auto tune. And the world would be a better place because people are believing these lies and music. Sometimes it's really fucking bad because people have their auto tune in the wrong key, wrong scale, and they didn't record with it. They added it afterwards and the shit just sounded horrible. The third lie that people believe is that it has latency issues. It does not. It does not at all. It does not at all. If you have latency issues with any ways to real time Antares or like Vologo or Crispy Tuner or anything, it's probably because you have a high sample rate. Right, even picture you can use picture and record with picture in real time. You just gotta set your sample rate at a cool place, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they are made to be used in real time, even for recording live show performances, all this other shit. If it had latency issues for real and it wasn't made for you to use in real time, why do people use it for live performances in the studio when they record? Because um, I used to record famous rappers and shit in a studio. And every single last one of them niggas used AutoZone. Especially Gunna. You feel me? <laughs> and I'm just I'm just telling you what I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell you nothing wrong. I'm just going to tell you things that's going to help you and benefit you. You feel me? So, if you're having latency issues, it's probably something that you didn't do correctly on your end. And the fourth lie that a lot of people believe is that if you use the same exact auto-tune settings as your favorite artist, you will sound like them. And I'm here to tell you, no, it shit does not work like that. <laughs> because auto-tune is used for your voice. Your voice, your voice, your voice. And your settings will be different from somebody else's settings. Because if one person can actually sing a little bit better than you, they're not going to need as much tune as you. All right. If somebody can't sing at all, they're going to need a lot more tune. And they're going to have to like, learn how to sing within the key and the scale and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
<laughs> That's just real, man. You can go and use the same exact auto tune settings as Chris Brown, but I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get the same outcome as Chris Brown because Chris Brown can fucking sing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can go and use Juice World's auto tune settings, and it's probably not gonna work out for you. Some people it might work out for, like Numb Fade. Numb Fade is a person that be on the channel. They send songs in and shit. I follow the young nigga on um, Instagram. Numb Fade sounds like Juice World. So if he used Juice World settings, he would sound like Juice World because the nigga sounds like Juice World already. You know what I'm saying? But if you, a person that don't sound nothing like Juice World, wanted to use his same exact settings, they probably won't work for you. <laughs> That's just what it is. You have to find the settings that work for you. So... You might not need a fast um, speed. You might need a slower speed. You might need to work in some um, correction style. You might need to work in some vibrato. You might need to humanize some. Everybody's shit is going to be different. And that's okay. Like All of that is okay. I don't understand why people aren't comfortable with being themselves. And they just... Don't want to find what works for them. And also up here. Like you need to understand right here. Sometimes you might work better in a soprano. Sometimes you might work better in an also tenor. Sometimes you going to have to put it down here in low metal. All of that matters, bro. Like I'm just saying, bro. Like I'm going off on a tangent now. Because when it comes to auto-tune, bro. I just see a lot of people use this shit wrong. And they believe a lot of lies. And I'm here to fix the lies. And one of the final lies that people believe is that auto-tune will fix lazy vocal performances. And I'm here to tell you that is a lie. And it is a lie because, again, I made videos on energy and recording and delivery and all this other shit. Auto-tune is, is a plug-in for your voice. So if you're lazy, the tune is going to be lazy. The tune can't hype you up. You know what I'm saying? You got to record with it to hype it up. You just can't throw tune on it and the shit just going to be hype all of a sudden. You can't go in there and rap like blah, blah, da, na, na, da, na, 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 and expect you put the tune on it and then it goes blah, blah, da, na, 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 na. That shit don't do that. That's two different approaches because I, I said one lazy and I said one with energy. You know? Um, yeah. Auto tune doesn't save lazy vocal performances. Um, you know, if you sing out of key horribly the auto tune is only gonna fuck that up you gonna have to sing it correctly <laughs> like that's what it is unless you go get melodyne um any graph um correction plugin because then you can move notes around and kind of fix it a little bit and tune it that way manually but auto tune no 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 you cannot give lazy weak vocal performance and inspect the plugin to make you sound fucking amazing because it depends on you all right so this is a video that i made about some of the most common lies that i see all the time from my comments to other comments on youtube like people gotta stop believing these lies man because auto-tune is a real-time plugin it's supposed to be used in real time so when you record with it you record with it if you have rappers that come to your studio and they tell you to add it afterwards because they're going to sing and they want to add it afterwards. No. You got to teach them and help them understand that you're supposed to record with it in real time. Because this, like, these are real time plugins. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you, if you're an engineer, producer, the person that's, even a rapper that's recording other people. And you know that people are supposed to record with it. Don't be afraid to tell people they have to. Because you're helping people. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people might get mad and people don't want to hear the help or hear the truth. That's fine. Because let them go and keep making bad sounding shit with auto-tune. Alright? Because a lot of people that came across my channel they were struggling with the tune. They found my channel, they got better with the tune. But listen, man, auto-tune is your friend. It is not the enemy. Make sure you always use the correct key, the correct scale, all right? Always make sure you adjust the input type when you have the option. You are in control of your retune speed. You can slow, that's less, faster, that's more, all right? You can always humanize it. You can always use vibrato if you need to. It all depends on you and the sounds you're going for. 
but you have to record it how you hear it in your head so you have to use the auto tune as a tool quit thinking of it as a savior use it as a creative tool to be creative all right think about it like an art like an artist like they have brushes paint a fucking easel and all this other shit an artist a vocal artist a vocal creator has plugins microphones to make them be able to create better art so that's what you got to think of auto-tune is an art it's an art form this is a art plugin because you can do so much with this plugin you can really push your creative boundaries with this plugin so listen do not make these mistakes stop believing these lies if people tell you these lies tell them check them on that shit that's all i'm saying check them but listen make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel it's your boy sky jordan i'm out of here all right cool <laughs> Yeah.